Com slash Skullgirls. Looks like they're gonna have Saiken stay on. Yeah. To play against Moons. Um. So I haven't seen Saiken before, and I'm just speculating that this is probably his first Skullgirls tournament. Probably his first big tournament. I don't know. And I think that the reason that he lost there was decision making. Okay. Uh, he he didn't really drop too much, but he snapped in Peacock when I think that. His team was better served to just go ahead and kill Parasol first. He, apparently, he liked the Valentine versus Peacock fight, but when it was Peacock Parasol, like yeah. there, he was not getting over there at all. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and and you know Val has to. I, I feel like Val is a is a hard character to just move around with. I feel like her move, like mastering her movement, is going to take a while. Yeah, and, and he's not there yet. I don't think anybody's there yet. Once he gets that, it's going to be much more difficult to, to block. Yeah. Nonetheless, see if that plays for a good warm-up for Saiken. Going to be up against TA Moons right now. Is he thinking about going solo here? Uh, it seems like he might be considering it. You know, it's a worthwhile uh, choice, I think, for a counter against a guy that's going solo. If you truly believe that your character is better than theirs, or you play your character better than theirs. Well, that's not what he's doing. Yeah. He's going to go for his team, Val Double. And they got a handshake to start things off. So Moons, as he did before, is going to be playing solo parasol. Parasolo against Val Double. Oh, backs off to start. Watch out for Tear. Oh, okay, he's got poison assist. Oh, got the ground. I mean, not assist. He's got poison syringe. The, the, the syringes all do different things. Poison takes off 10% life. It's good against solo characters because it just takes off 10% life. Ah. It doesn't do like a number of, of damage. It's, it's, it's percentage based. Okay. Oh, he got there a reset go. there. And hey, look at a life going down. He can do super out of that. That's what he's going to do. And I like the... Oh, he's going for the hit stun one now. Extra hit stun on this if it hits. Oh, there's actually no reason for Val to get hit there. Yeah, I think he tried to save double a little bit too anxiously. He's giving Moons a chance for the comeback here. Oh, oh. dirty. Yeah. Just a simple little grab reset. Gonna get both. Not that, though. That's a ton of damage, though, on Val. And he's oh, nice. forced to bring double in. And, and he correctly, correctly blocks the double on the entrance. Jabs? Ooh, no, not in time. Nice block oh, on the cross so up, but into the grab. Smart stuff from Saiken. Uh, okay. Looks like there's going to be a punish. Not quite. This might be it. Wow, that is literally pixels at a time. Oh, man. But can he get a reset? He got a reset in the last one. Nice. He went for the slide and Cup. then for the win. A couple of big damage opportunities there for Moons, and you can't drop those with a size one because you're liable to kill. Right. Uh, and I think that, that that really put him in a ter terrible position there. He could have made that a lot more closer if not one. So Moons is going right back into it. He's not going to go for any kind of assist here. He's confident with Parasol. Does a little bit of damage on her way out. Or on, on double, sorry, on her way out. But here comes Val. She can get a ton of damage off of this. Ooh, there's that poison again. Check out her life slowly moving down. Well, not even slowly now. For level one, that's pretty significant action. I hope he doesn't end in super again, because it's going to blow his... Yeah, look at, the, look at the damage on super here. Almost none to get terrible positioning. I really don't like that. Yeah, and that, that's, again, it's the decision making. Nice. The cross-up. She has a huge jump. Uh, jump fierce. I almost said jump age. <laughs> Six buttons in this one. Yup. Not quite in range. Doing a great job of covering his offense with double assist. I really like how he's playing around. Wow, he is intent on getting that air grab. Oh, too early for the ground grab. She was still in block stun. Gets punished for it. Oh, he got two overzealous. And with a couple of R's and a lot of Val damage potential here. Oh, no. All that double. Cover yourself. Goes for the grab. Nice. Whips the grab and then gets the grab. That might be it. No, he didn't get it. Oh, my lord. Oh, he still got it. This should be it. Should be, but I don't know. No, it's not going to be. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know, man. He's got level three. 
He could have already gotten the kill, I think. Here's, okay, super DHC. No, it doesn't even need DHC. There it is. Saiken eliminates TA moves. All right. Now we're going to have Nerd Josh and Chris G. And they're both kind of smiling at each other on their way in. Yeah. Looking forward to playing each other. Yeah. Chris did so well against Rai Rai uh, in the first game. Yeah. Was really impressed by his play. I think Rai Rai is definitely the favorite now after uh, seeing what Chris G has versus him. I agree. I agree. But I think these two guys are right up there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a pity that one of them is going to have to go out right now. Very true. One more once. Yeah, Cannon Black up in there playing the spoiler. And uh, it was actually... Well, I'll just get to that later. Let's let these guys rock. <laughs> yep. They're going to check their buttons first. Boom, 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 boom. Still checking things even though they just checked them. All right, here we go. This is the loser's semis. Or no, loser's quarters. Right? Uh, loser's quarters after this. I think no, it's no, loser's no. quarters. No. Yeah, it is. No. Oh, this yeah. This is loser's semis. What? No. It's loser's quarters because then winner of this will play uh, oh, Psykin and yeah. then winner of that will play the loser's final. Yeah, that is a quarter. Okay. So Nerd Josh rocking that double assist to cover as Sarah Bella approaches. And uh, Chris G has Parasol for a little bit of get off me, which will come in handy against Sarah Bella. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm interested to see how Josh goes about playing in this matchup. Trying to get in there immediately, of course. Oh, but doesn't, see, doesn't expect, I guess, the, the Parasol. Or maybe he was trying to fly over it at the start. Maybe that would, would come out immediately. Nice lock and load right through. Ooh. I like that option. Chris trying to stay airborne up there. Yeah, he's really doing a great job of sticking that head in on his uh, block strings. Nice grab. Yeah, it was it was almost a confirmed by Josh. He, he went into the launcher, into the lock and load when he saw it was blocked, and when he saw lock and load was blocked, yeah. he just did super. Really sick stuff. That's punishable, yeah. There you go. Nice. Noms it up. Oh, I like it. He's moving the head along. Thought he was going to go for the follow-up, but instead just, just for the DAC. Gives him his fortune out so she can get some life back. Really smart. Trying to go for Chip. Is he going to find any kind of holes in between where he can go for some cool high... No. Again with a double. Yeah. Right there is where you want to try to get a super or a pillar. Wow. I mean, that's, that's all... What? He... Wow, this is so sick. I love this from Josh. Look at all the chip damage. I mean, it's just a chip setup, and he had it three times. Yeah. He took off a good third life there. Obviously, he'd rather have hit, but I, th I thought it was pretty cool that when he saw it was just being chipped, he, he maximized it. Oh, yeah. At least as much as he can, can right now. Wow, he is so good at sticking in that head. Look at yeah, that. that. Yeah, Josh, not paying attention to where the head is at. You have to constantly be doing that. Wow, that's pretty going to be good damage. I don't think she's going to die quite yet, but get close. Jump back and hit the head. No, he's got to watch his back now. Yeah, the head's right down there. Chris, is, I can't believe he's keeping an eye on the head the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, you can, yeah, you, you, you can actually do that on, on the dead character. Nice right. jump, and Josh had a combo. Let it go. All right, so his Bella is down. Now it's double, double with no meter, and it seems like he just wants to do Dragon Punch in the meter yeah, into this, a super. This is, yeah, and this is actually a great position for Chris. Oh, He's he got three blocks. meters. You can punish that on block, but not if you push block it. It's one huge chance for Josh. Yeah, as soon as he got close enough to the meter, he went for this, but there's the throw. Wow. And he didn't get cancel, man. Josh. Is that really his name, Cancel Man? No, um, probably not. That would be awesome. <laughs> I have no idea what his real name is. The chip setup, can he do this? All on chip? Not quite, but very close. Uh, he can lay back now. He doesn't have to get too aggressive. There it is. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna chip her out. A lot of his damage was due to chip there. That was sick, man. And uh, Chris, I think, is kicking himself after missing the Cancel Man combo after the grab. Star B. 
All right, what's what's the opening going to be here? Each time Josh has just gone, to, yeah, just gone for a dash or a jump. Obviously, it's his goal to get in. Looking for the anti-air grab. Only grabs on the way up. It will not as an anti-air when the opponent's coming dude, down. Look at that placement on Misfortune's head. That's sick, dude. Honestly. Can't grab the head. Oh, a little bit too far away for the om nom nom. But now he's in oh, between the head sick. and Misfortune again. Josh has to look for that positioning. And I don't like him going to the exact same setup that he used previously. With the command grab setup. Oh, double. It oh, and that's hitting the head, too. Wow. Head takes 50% damage? Yeah. Oh, got him. And there's the head again. Nice. And hitting the head, too. Look at that little dude down there at the bottom right. <laughs> She's got heads of her own. Nine heads are better than one. And at this point, he's in. he has enough meters so that if he gets another Dragon Punch, he'll cancel it. Now he does have Super. He has to be careful, though. All this meter on Chris's side. Misfortune has a pretty good level three. Oh, just oh, smashed it out, and Chris didn't get his combo. He dropped his Rekus. He dropped his Rekus. Just DHC here. Oh, level three. Oh, wow. A lot of smart. damage on that double back there. Oh, he's got both. Double's dead. Cerebella falls out. Josh still fighting. Oh, I thought he was going to look for anti -air grab for sure. Yeah. Oh, nice. He needs to kill her fast. Misfortune's gaining all this life back. There's that big jump fierce. Nice. Do oh, you can hit the head when the assist comes out? Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. That is sick, but full screen level three. Chris G taking a game. That makes sense. That's actually pretty cool. Uh huh. One more one. One to one. Loser, this is out of here. I heard Josh on the left and Chris G on the right. Final game. Josh dashing up as he has been. Playing patiently while well, he was, at least. Was waiting for the parasol assist. Oh, noms it up. Oh, gets uh, no punish. And, and uh, Chris had the assist call anyway. Oh, trying to lock and load through. Christian doing a good job of keeping Cerebella out right now. No, he has meter. Heads, yes. Oh, Chris tried to press a button in there. Yeah. You know, and he push blocked right before uh, Double came in. Had he not, he might have been able to stick something in between oh. that DHC, honestly. Another little frame trap opportunity here by Josh. Yeah, and that just gets so hard to see. <laughs> nice! He's got the assist, too! She's still taking damage in there. Oh, not anymore, but... Oh, Alpha counter through. Smart option. Yeah. First time he's gone to it. Ooh, a little bit too far. Lock and loads up. Oh, he's got the anti-air. Sick read. And great positioning. No, not anymore. Just gets out, does Josh. I'm mean, sorry, does uh, Chris. Yeah, he tried to slip under, but he got punished for it. Pick a head back up. No, he's just going to still fight with the head off. Oh, and gets the on -nom again. It worked out. Double's got to watch out. Yeah, immediately Josh smartly just jumping away from the head. He knew the head was down there. Did not want to trouble with that. This is the opposite of what I expected from head off players. You know, like, I wouldn't think that you would want to run, run, want to run away from the head. I would think that you want to take that free damage on it. But Chris is making it so threatening. He's looking so good. This is tough for Josh at this point. All right, goes into the head setups again. Oh, and uh, Parasol took a little bit of damage there, not a ton. Oh, cross under. There's nice the punish. punish. That actually That's might be it. That's gonna do it. That might be oh. it. Oh, yeah, yes. that was. Whew, that was almost late on the super, but Chris taking it, staying alive, staying strong against uh, Nerd Josh. I asked Nerd Josh before the tournament, "Is Chris G good?" He said, "Yeah." Cool. Well, Nerd Josh.